For years, Western Mass News has been covering poor water conditions for the residents in the town of Ware. In our latest story, one resident reached out to our newsroom after water from her faucets has been brown for weeks now. I sat down with her about her to hear her concerns. This is not okay. <laughs> and I've got, what, 12 jars of this from starting from March 13th to yesterday. This was my water when I went to go do my dishes and take a bath. And I don't know if people can see the nastiness on the bottom, but this is not okay. Cindy Raymond has lived in her apartment in Ware for over two decades, but cloudy water wasn't always the norm. I don't know exactly what's going on in our town, but apparently for the last couple years, we've had nothing but this very bad, rusty water, and it's everywhere. Raymond tells us when she raises her concern to her apartment complex management team, they point to the town water department. The water department has left them with unanswered questions. Raymond points right back at her glasses of dirty water. At this day and age, we shouldn't be living in this kind of dirty water. And that people don't realize that this is an issue or think it's an issue is a problem to me. Western Mass News called and emailed both the management team at Highland Village and the Town of Ware Water Department. Both organizations did not return our request for interview or more details regarding the water quality for town residents. I am very direct when it happened. I reported it right away. And then it's back and forth with this one needs to get a hold of that one. That one needs to hold, get a hold of this one. And then I'm stressed because I'm going back and forth, having to do way more work than I should have to. If Raymond was told her apartment sits at the end of a pipe or tank that allows the water to pool. When it makes its way out of her faucets, it's far from clean. You know, you flush the toilet and they think someone went in the toilet because it's all brown. Um, and there's a lot of people that see it, but they don't know, they may not know how to speak up about it or they did, but nothing was done. The town has occasional system flushes that, according to Raymond, only temporarily fixes the problem. She's looking to state leadership to intervene and provide funding for the town to update their infrastructure. I hope that the state or whoever does funding can see that this town clearly needs some help. Raymond says that often she'll leave the shower feeling dirtier than when she got in. The avid chef even resulting to store-bought water just to make sure they have clean water to drink. This is Poland Springs. What I do is I fill these up myself and then one's for Dixie <laughs> and this is for me and then I have this is the one I use to cook with. So this is drinking for her, for me and the cook with and then this is like filling the teapot and stuff like that. Raymond says she's running out of jars to monitor daily water quality and hopes that someone somewhere can wash away this problem. People have a right to water, clean water. And this is not clean. Mm -hmm. And it's been several years. Mm -hmm. And while I love my town and I love there's a lot of good people and representative people that are in the town, they're not really understanding the level of distress this causes people. Raymond also tells me the town shared with her that they plan to flush the system on April 9th. The water department didn't return our calls or emails to confirm that.